Hi, I'm Johnny from ultimatepapermache.com and in this video I want to show you how to make paper mache clay sculpture really really super smooth without adding a second layer of paper mache clay and without doing any sanding at all. It's going to be really fast and really easy and I kind of need to do this video because in my last video I kind of lied to you. I showed you a new recipe that I'd come up with for paper mache clay that doesn't use any flour in it. It happens to be just a little bit easier to mix up than the original recipe uh, if you have the, the little machine that chops up the paper. But it does have just a little bit more texture than the original paper mache clay recipe does. But even the old one, it, it still has a texture because there's a lot of paper in there. In the very end of that video I told you that I had already put one layer of paper mache clay on the new giraffe I was making. But it had more texture than I really wanted. I wanted a nice texture on the mane and on the little fluff in his ears but I wanted the rest of it to be smooth so I was going to add one more layer of paper mache clay but I wasn't putting in quite as much paper so it wouldn't be quite as textured. And as soon as the video camera got turned off I realized that that was really the hard way to do it. And the reason that I knew that I was going to too much work was because I had already found an easy way to make paper mache strips and paste really really smooth without sanding and that is just simply to add a very very thin layer of drywall joint compound over it. So if that worked it would obviously also be possible to just use the drywall joint compound over the paper mache clay. A sixteenth of an inch of paper mache clay, no matter whether you use the old recipe or the new one, it dries really really hard and strong. So it doesn't really need a second layer of anything in order to add strength to it. This is what it looks like when I'm putting the gesso on there. So you've, you've got the drywall joint compound, you smoothed it off like the way I'm going to show you how to do it in just a minute, no sanding at all. And it's dry, everything is ready to go and I'm putting the, uh, the, the one coat of gesso on there to protect it. And you can just see it's just so smooth. Now let me show you how easy it is to put the drywall joint compound on there using a flexible silicone spatula. That's kind of the trick to this. It makes it so much easier. These things are really cheap. And, and then I'm going to show you how it's so easy to make it super smooth without sanding it at all just using an old damp towel. Now my giraffe is already finished. It's already painted and everything so I can't use him for the model for this particular video. So I went ahead and added some paper mache clay to just a piece of cardboard. I used a really really thin layer just like I do when I'm putting it over a regular armature and it's less than I think a sixteenth of an inch. I've never actually measured it but I put it on as thinly as I can without showing any of the armature underneath. And then I went ahead and let that dry overnight and it was time to make it really smooth. You can tell here, I'm, I'm going to put a close up here so that you can see how much texture it has before I put the joint compound on there. This is our drywall joint compound. I used this brand, it's from Walmart and I'm using it instead of DAP because DAP does not work in the paper mache clay recipe. So this is what I have. And this, this seems to be what really makes a difference is using a flexible silicone spatula. The flexibility allows you to put this on really really thin. As you can see I'm not making like an extra layer so much as I'm just pushing it in to the paper mache clay. Paper mache clay is dry already and I'm just pushing it in so that it fills up all of the little dips and crannies. I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to show you, well let me make one one little bit that's a, a little bit bumpy. So now I've got a, a, just a couple of bumps and dips and I'll show you when this dries how easy that is to smooth out without any sandpaper. It's all dry now. Um, there was a very little drywall joint compound on there, such a thin layer that it really doesn't take very long to dry. I just put it over a heating vent and it took about 15 minutes. And so now uh, all I need to do is I'm going to take this, um, this old kitchen towel. 
and I got it just slightly damp and I'm going to use it in place of sandpaper. Just very, very gently rub it over the, uh, the dried drywall joint compound. Joint compound is not waterproof and that's, that's why it is possible to use a very, very lightly damp cloth to smooth it off. You can use a lightly damp sponge if you want to, but you might end up with a few marks left from the sponge. Now, if this is a real sculpture, I would just let it sit and dry again. You want it to dry all the way through, of course, before you add anything else to it. And then I would apply at least one coat of acrylic gesso, just like I did on the giraffe. You want to use the gesso for several reasons. It does make a nice white ground so that your uh, colors that you're painting will come out nice and bright. It also protects the drywall joint compound, which as you can see, it's really soft. So you don't want it to be picking up fingerprints and you don't want it to be scratched. You want something on there to protect it. It's really best to do that with the gesso first and then apply your paint. <laughs> so that's all I've got for you today. If you can see, it's really, really easy. No sanding, no extra layers of paper mache clay. It's really light because you don't have to add that second layer. And I, I just think it's great. Do put something over it though. Like I said, it's really soft. You do not want to just leave it out in the world without some sort of protection. And the acrylic gesso is really the best way to go before you paint it. Um, if you have any other ideas for how to make paper mache clay smoother and, and still keep it nice and light, be sure and let us know. If you have any other questions about uh, paper mache clay or any paper mache related ideas, be sure and um, put them down below. I do read every comment, even if I am sometimes a little bit slow. I do get to them eventually, and I really, uh, really love hearing from you guys. So go ahead and do that, and then go make something, and come visit me, ultimatepapermache.com. I'll see you there.